this video, we're going to take a look at an individual derivative. We're going to be looking at um, f of x is equal to x raised to the cotangent x. All right, we're going to see that our base is an x here, and our um, exponent here is cotangent x. So we're going to want to use logarithmic differentiation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace f of x with a y. So my function is y equals x raised to the cotangent t. All right, now I want to do a little bit of uh, log rules here to simplify this to make that logarithmic differentiation work really nice for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we'll do a natural log on this side. We'll do a natural log on this side. We're going to bring that cotangent x down in front because that's one of our properties of logarithms. So I'm going to have natural log of y is equal to cotangent x times natural log of x. All right, now we can see hopefully that this is going to lend itself really nice to product rule on this side, and then a little implicit differentiation here when I take the derivative of this side. So now that I've done that type of algebra manipulation, I'm ready to take the derivative, so d dx of the left-hand side, and then d dx of the right-hand side. All right, so uh, derivative of natural log of x is going to be 1 over x, or in this case, it's going to be a y prime over y because it's u prime over u. So we'll have a y prime over a y. We're going to do product rule right here. So we'll have cotangent of x times derivative of the second function, which is a 1 over x. All right, and then plus the second function, natural log of x, times the derivative of the first function, and hopefully that's memorized as negative cosecant squared x. So we'll have a negative cosecant squared x. All right, now to clean this up a little bit here, we'll go ahead and put the this over x. We'll make this a subtraction, pull it out in front. So we'll have a y prime over y is equal to cotangent x all over x. And we'll do a minus. We'll put this in front, cosecant squared x times that natural log of x. All right, now we do want to solve all the way down for y prime. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So doing that, it'll cross out on the left-hand side, and it'll be over on the right-hand side. Last step is going to be to replace this y with what it originally equaled. When I s replaced f of x with y, that meant y equals x cotangent x. So then I can write y prime as cotangent x over x minus cosecant squared x times natural log of x replacing the y with what it originally equaled, x raised to the cotangent x. All right, um, that should suffice for an answer. You can, um, you know, maybe get common denominators, that sort of thing, distribute that in there if you wanted to make it more complicated, but at, as for the most part, that right there is going to be an equivalent answer and as far as you need to go. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.